What's up guys, Cash back again, and today I wanted to bring you guys some new info on the game that comes straight from one of the lead developers of the game, as well as hopefully clear up some of the rumors currently circulating about the game's potential future, so let's jump into it. So unfortunately, we're still being kept in the dark about when the next roadmap will actually be revealed, but I was able to get some info about how the game is currently performing as far as player engagement and drop off. And I was told that the game is still performing about the same in terms of the amount of players playing weekly and that while players are uninstalling and leaving the game after the time travel patch, there is still a decent influx of new players coming in and they still have a strong base of casual players continuing to play the game. So the idea that the game is dying or dead because of recent bugs or decisions just isn't true or based on facts. So for the players worried about the game potentially dying any day now, there is no legitimate info out there to support that thinking. Yes, the game has bugs and problems and there's still a divide between what players want and what the studio thinks they should have, but plenty of people are clearly still playing and supporting the game and when the roadmap is revealed, I'm sure some players who have left will return to try out the new content as always. I know a lot of you guys have seen the clip of Greg Miller saying this game will shut down after the release of She-Hulk and because he work with Crystal Dynamics in the past, it's believed he's speaking based on inside info. But in reality, he was simply giving his personal predictions for where the game will go this year and not actually speaking in any official capacity. I understand the idea that most people have about Avengers not performing to all the high expectations that were set prior to its release, and looking at it through that lens makes it seem plausible that the game would just lose support so that the studio can move on to other projects. But to everyone's surprise, after the War for Wakanda expansion, news came out that the game was actually doing well and more content was planned for this year. So I don't blame anyone for not being optimistic about the game's future at all, but I take all of the doom and gloom news with a grain of salt because the future of the game is still unfolding and we don't know anything beyond what the actual developers and studio will share publicly. Another question I asked the developer was about the possibility of players being able to influence the decisions on new heroes coming to the game, and while the devs clearly won't speak on unreleased heroes or content in detail, he did confirm that the heroes planned to release this year have been in development for a while, and that planned content is relatively set in stone months before release because of all the work that goes into making a new hero and new content for the game. But he did reiterate that they are listening to player feedback and said if you guys want certain heroes in the game to make as much noise for them as possible because they do listen and they do take that into consideration. So if you guys want to see heroes like Doctor Strange, War Machine, Scarlet Witch, or Ant-Man, make noise on the official Discord, Twitter, and Reddit to let them know. The last thing that we talked about was something that's been suspected by players since the announcement that Crystal Dynamics was beginning work on a perfect dark game. And I'm just telling you guys here before news spreads and things get taken out of context and this is straight from one of the developers who's a part of the transition and he was given permission to share the news. Some of the developers working on Avengers are going to transition over to perfect dark to help with the development of that, but it's not because Avengers is dying or because support is being pulled. Most of the promotions seem to be focused on leadership roles for the dev team on Perfect Dark, and as I said, it's a transition, so for now, those devs are working on both games and not simply jumping from one game to the next, and there will be new hires and promotions to replace the devs who move on to Perfect Dark. Devs like Alex and Brian are not leaving Avengers and have taken on larger roles and more responsibility, so they're still going full force on Avengers. Again, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on this info before it gets into the wild and gets misconstrued. Avengers has problems but it's not dead or dying and like I said earlier once new content drops we'll see the usual spike of new players as always An idea of some members of the dev team transitioning over to perfect dark would be bad news if they weren't replacing those members of the team with new hires, which I was assured is clearly not the case. So I know it's dry right now, but don't get completely discouraged about the game's future, and if you want to take a break or step away to play something else, that's completely fine and I recommend it, but you don't have to worry about this game as much as you think you do. But that's everything I have for today's video, but definitely let me know what you guys think down in the comments, and make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe to catch more Marvel's Avengers content every week. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you on the next one.